So we're at the St. Dennis Center at the University of Windsor and we're at the first robotics competition, Windsor-Essex Great Lakes District event. So we have 40 teams uh, here in, at this competition and they're from all over Ontario. Uh, about just under half of the teams are from the Windsor-Essex Chatham Kent area. So the event here in, one, in Windsor is Windsor Life. A whole bunch of really nice, friendly people who are on top of their technology. These are kick-ass robots. Canada has been part of FIRST from very early on. Some innovative thinkers like Mark Bredner got FIRST and Canada connected many years ago, and it's been growing wonderfully ever since. The first ever team in Canada was started in 1998, so there's 173 teams in Ontario. The Ontario district is probably, in my opinion, one of the most competitive uh, districts in the world. I think there's a lot of very strong teams, especially from our Windsor area, our Greater Toronto area, and really everywhere in between you can find a fantastic team, uh, teams that are very well rounded. Before we moved to the district model in Ontario, we actually had, we had the regional model and teams from all over the world came to this competition. We had teams from Michigan and teams from Ohio, a team from California came a couple years ago and we had an, even had a team from Poland that came a couple years ago which was amazing. I'm a really big fan of the district model. I think it puts more emphasis on being a well-rounded team. So with the old regional model, uh, you could be a team with an awesome robot and you could go ahead and win the event and move on. Um, but the teams that are really great at promoting safety or the most spirited in the stands wouldn't necessarily have the opportunity uh, to move on if the robot wasn't as successful. They get points for where they finish in qualification matches, elimination matches, and that has to do with the robot. They also get points on the awards they win, so different awards that include the robot, but also include entrepreneurship, building a business plan, promoting first in your community. The top 80 teams in Ontario get to go to provincial championships, and the top 30 odds or so get to go to the world championships in Detroit, Michigan.